people wear this? Um, would they tie it around themselves, perhaps? Attach Probably right here. Why? I didn't realise I was under house arrest. Thanks for the advice. I hope I'm not the only suspect. No, but you're one of the two men. Wards of right. evil spirits. Why traverse? Sam, I've got some heavy rain news. Oh. Lawrence Petrovsky, that's his real name. And no, he's not a Russian spy. But he does have a criminal record. Oh. He was charged with the murder of a 21-year-old artist. Looks like he got off on the technicality by all accounts. About three months ago in Hong Kong. Be careful, Sam. If you're going to ask him about this, it could be a flight risk. And you know, there's a good chance he could be the killer. Doors behind you. Range still a suspect. No corroborated alibi. Bronwyn Castle has one. Lexi Taylor doesn't. I've got my search back on Rain, or Petrovsky, as we should call him. He's got priors that you're looking into. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Supposed to be proof that aliens have visited up. up. Hey, I'm going. There's too many people asking questions. It's exhausting. I'm off to stay at my aunt's. I'll come back tomorrow, but I've said everything I can say. One last thing. Might just have been someone imagining that that's uh, what aliens look like. Uh, or it could be an observation or something. Or just count from someone who looks like this. Perhaps. Toe's curiosity shop is now renowned. And nightmares. With Poe and Mar You're the detective. Monroe just called. This is madness. Who would want to hurt her? We interviewed her about her scholarship not too long ago. Do you think whoever killed Dorota plans to kill Monroe? What makes you think she's in danger? Arrow? Does this have anything to do with the gentleman? stopped by. Gentleman? I didn't get his name, I'm afraid. He offered to do a spot on our show, doing tarot readings to answer listener questions. We said we'd think about it. Oh. That must be Rian then, yeah? We've worked together for years. She's the light to my shade, the angel to my demon. The diamond to my lump of coal. She told me to say all these things. Heavens no. I have a wife and three children, beloved spawn of my loins. Monroe and I are good friends, that's all. Only a madman or woman. Monroe is August's sweetheart. Poe and Monroe, that was her idea. Our show. We were just another local radio station before that. It was Monroe who decided we should have a theme. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Don't tell me you haven't heard it, Detective. That's what the Free Radio Project is all about. Uniting August via the airwaves. Monroe's been delivering free radios anywhere people might want to listen. Doctor surgeries, hairdressers, the guest house. I believe she charmed the local electrical store into donating them, in exchange for free advertising, of course. You know, this town is fascinating. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Have you ever read up on the real history of August? I have not. Go on. The official story is that Mary August retired from a life on the high seas, found a nice spot here and used her ill-gotten gains to establish a town. 
that's not what really happened. What do you mean? It's true that Mary August was a pirate, but she didn't retire. Her ship was sunk on the rocks just off the coast. Mary and all of her crew sought refuge in a small fishing town. This one. They slaughtered everyone, men, women, and children, all dead and dismembered in their own homes. The bodies were dumped in a mass grave, well, the body parts, and the pirates moved in. No one knows. It seems at some point it was built over and then forgotten about. It could be under the school or the church, or right beneath our feet. On that note, I should probably get back to the booth. The show must go on. Death threats be damned. Look after Monroe, detective. She's the only Monroe I've got. It's now 10 o'clock. Here's your August what? update. Investigations deepen into last night's murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juilliard, was found strangled at her home last night. With the murderer still at large, Chief DuPont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. Alice, if you're listening, let me know you're okay. In other news, a handful of August residents have reported seeing strange lights in the sky earlier this evening. The lights, which witnesses describe as searingly bright, were spotted over the east edge of town, past the fire station. Have you seen any strange lights? Or for that matter, little green men? Let me know. That's 10 o'clock with Powell. That can't be all for this whole R. I, I couldn't tell them what had driven me to breaking I'm point, the, the fear of discovery. No, it's you. I was hoping it might be Zack. No. Oh, him, yes. I've heard him on the radio. Never met him in real life, though. Are you mocking me, Sam? No, I have never met the man. Ah, yes, now I remember. It's the one in the hall. Sometimes cuts through the uh, unbearable silence in this place. Not really. I expected her to be blonde for some reason. No. And I've got some very important news for him, if he oh. ever shows up. Yes. If he ever shows up. Uh... Did I just do myself? A taxi speeds by me, splashing me with spray from the puddles in the room. Sorry, Sam, what can I do for you? Yeah, I, I always cry around this time of night. Um, what's the point, Sam, huh? If we can't save them. Mercury is a curse. It's like some tourist guide for murders. <sighs> I try for Alexi and Rain to make them think that we can make a difference, make a change, but we haven't so far. What if we can't make a change? Maybe if we could just save one person, Sam. Alice, we need to save her. We need to. It rings a bell, but 
No. Sorry, Sam. Yes. She's definitely got a monkey on her back. I saw her get changed. She's got all these scars on her back in the shape of a monkey. What? Like they've been burned into her. What the hell happened to her, Sam? Yes, I managed to sneak a look at her laptop. She's been Googling Ellis Munro. Pair, get some clothes together. Do a bit of reconnaissance. I couldn't count on being so lucky. Uh. A who, what, which of what? <laughs> I don't think so. I found out he's a creep. He basically put the moves on me as soon as I walked through the door. You knew? Sorry. Heads up would have been nice. Anyway, I did find out one thing that's pretty damning. He has a massive collection of books about serial killers. What's that about? Yep. Creepy dude. Obsessed with serial killers. It's not looking good. But Violet also had the uh, sharpened scissors. But he's off the radio. I don't really know him. Actually, I'm glad you're here. I really, really want to do a reading for you right now. You know, to help. Thank you. Great. Let me just draw three cards for you. Um... This is just a general reading. You don't need to question. Okay. No. The Two of Cups. That's mysterious. Is there anyone you feel a spark of attraction to? Maybe someone you've met recently? The lovers. I did not expect that. I'm seeing a pattern it here. It seems this attraction has the potential to be life-changing. If you want it to be. And finally, the Knight of Cups. Hmm? This card is about pursuing your heart's desire. I think it's time to tell that someone special how you really feel. Wow, what an interesting reading. Does it mean anything to you? I'm not stupid. You catch on quickly, don't you, Sam? Well, and I'm it is always he but is just being careful before he doubles obvious. back. No. Honestly, you don't. Once they're caught, a few hours later, they've hopped timelines into someone else. We just keep chasing them, continuously trying to stop them ruining lives. Yes, but it kills the vessel too. So you could have a traveler inside you right now, and if I killed you, you'd both be dead. I'm not sure. It's a lovely place. It has the third most high-rise buildings of any city in the world. <laughs> now that's someone I get mistaken for all the time. It's not me. Chief Dupont has made a mistake. I don't know what you're talking about, Detective. It's seat as the Terminator or Bruce mm. Lee or Mike Tyson or all three combined take- Don't confirm the existence of travelers. They're not ready. Oh. Alice and Poe. Huh. I'm Poe, and this is your August update. August update. Creepy. The beast drinks in his life or- I'm sorry, can I help you? I... It's not a very good time at the moment, I'm afraid. Really? Uh, anything I can help with? No, not really. 
symbols in my grasp. He has fouled himself with the hot blood. Body away, expecting it to flutter in the air, the torn wrapper oh. of a toothsome morsel. No. No. The ex John. I'm going to be fine. Not running. Nope. And okay. Walk briskly and purposefully away from the broken heap in the shadows, a long walk. Alex. A thin drizzle mist. This one's probably going to be longer than Pull my hood closer, seeking anonymity as I walk. If I have. Trafalgar again, Square at maybe it'll so be full of people, none of them an almost oh, post-orgasmic lethargy fills me as I No. Nope. Alice. Do you have the amethyst? Amethyst? What amethyst? Pose amethyst pendant. The one we have the buyer for. Pose pendant? Okay, we're playing silly buggers now. Don't worry about it. My buyer would have found something by the time you pitch up with it anyway. Are my legs and muscles taut with cramp? Mm. Yeah. I'm so sorry. You mean everything to me. I won't let you die. Are you- Of course I'm okay. It's you who's shrouded in darkness, my love. Hell, we must finish what we started. Nope. Nope. What do you mean? Us. Our love. I don't care what happens to me. I'm going to leave her. I know I keep saying it, but this time, I really do mean it. Are you ready to spend the rest of your life with me, no matter its length? No. Yes? Oh, I see. So Monroe is scamming Poe for an amethyst and then huh I guess yeah hell I fell in love with you the first day we met you ripped out my heart diced it into pieces and reshaped it in your form I will always be yours forever L will you marry me no. Yes. No. This might actually protect Ellis. Because he would probably be watching her heist for the killer then, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Elle, I love you. Even if it ruins the You don't know how happy you've mind. made me. My angel. My absolute angel. Are you really married? Yes, you've met my wife and family. They're sadly not actors I've hired to make my life look richer than it is. Tomorrow, I will tell her about us. And I will leave her. Another heart broken, another family destroyed. Another villainous father. Is your wife gonna kill me? No. At least I don't think so. She doesn't know anything about us. Not yet, anyhow. My hands trembled as I put the car in park. Sat oh. there. The hum of the in distorted voice from the next speakers were my company as I simply sat. Everything in my head was screaming. Oh. Okay, let's do the basic ones again. Chief, then Violet, then Creepy, and then these three, I guess. But did you get a call from my doctor? Your doctor did call. Did you tell her I was being compliant? I said you were taking the pills. 
Thank you, Claude. I won't forget that. You said you saw other heads when you were taken. Yes. Other girls, younger than me. Nobody I recognised. They all had red hair. Do you think this place is nearby? Yes. They all had red hair. They were all very pretty. And they were all alive. Were. In that moment. Did you see DeRosa? He or sounded Alice? to remind me that the keys were still in the ignition. I left my door open as I cautiously walked. Hello? Tell me about Hong Kong. If you know about Hong Kong, then I don't have to tell you anything. It's all in that report that you've clearly read. What does... About yay high, beard, thick rim glasses. I have no idea who you're talking about. Never let me sleep at night again. I haven't asked you about Zack yet. Until a few hours ago, I never heard of the guy. Creepy as fudge if you ask me. I agree. Thanks, Lexi. It's always a pleasure. Anything for you, Chief? Myself to the ground. Miss? My voice... Did I... Was it already? Pain the masculine depth. Currently hiding behind... Chief DuPont. Grave news, indeed. Will Ellen... No. She wants me to keep broadcasting. Which means I'll be booth-bound for most of the night. She'd be safer at home, with someone protecting her. Can't I get someone else to handle the radio? And murder Poe and Monroe? No, Chief DuPont. Alice could Monroe take that. Murdered? Not tonight. We did think of asking you to do a guest evening at some point, though. If you're interested. No, I don't want to dilute my brand. <laughs> I would love to. Then I will pencil you in, Chief. It will be an honor and a privilege. Sorry, I must go back to the broadcast. The radio, she calls me like a siren, and she must be obeyed. I tried to stay calm as I pulled my phone from my pocket and dialed. Okay. Her hand squeezed mine. Violet? Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Operator answered after the second ring. Hello? Oh, what is your emergency? I hit a woman. Hello. I hit her, others, and uh, she's twisted weird and... Interactive. My calm were... Sir, calm down. I could hear her typing what I was telling her. Where did this happen? I'll do these first because I... I looked down at the girl as her chest stopped right... Violet, I'm actually a bit tied up at the moment. Well, in danger, actually. But okay. I still... Hello, creepy. Nothing? And... Huh. She was gone. The blacktop rippled in Guess front of me. It turned into time. waves that grew into a deep... See you then. I'm Zach Weston, just sharpening my powers of persuasion. I stopped and blinked. Zach, the game is up. Hmm? I think you should leave town. The what? I know where you were last night. I followed you to Dorota's house. Well, I didn't know it was Dorota's house until we arrived. Call it women's intuition. I was at the studio. You were at Dorota's. Don't change the subject. Sam and Dupont will put two and two together. And then what? And then they're going to arrest you. You weren't there long, I suppose, but then I guess it doesn't take you long, does it? You're spying on me. I followed you there, then back to the studio. You lied to the police. 
You lied to me. Done with you. We're finished. Don't come back here again. Or and prove that it wasn't real, oh. just a vivid dream. So I was right. But my it stomach was dropped. was Zach who went to that house. It's only been moments since I'd made Pardon the call. Me. There was no way they made it out to my house that fast. I watched the driveway, their mouths moving. But it takes a while to hear what they're saying. Rain? Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Because at that moment. Why do you think the killer's chosen Ellis? I have absolutely no idea. I'm a redhead. I suppose I should feel left out. With Poe and Monroe. So, we have... It's getting closer, isn't it? What's getting closer? Do you think this John Pope is involved? I doubt it. As far as I know, they're live on air a lot of the time, and not sure he could have nipped out murdered Dorota and made it back for the news at 10. So it could be him then? <sighs> it could be anyone. It could be you, Ray. What's getting closer? The event. Whatever is going to happen to Ellis. I can feel it. Of the issue. Very Maybe good. That's something you could say about most. Hey. How's the Ouija? Full of annoying voices that aren't helping me. I've only just got back from the photographer's place, so I haven't had a chance to go at it yet. Say anything about me? I didn't ask yet about you. Do you think I should? No. Yeah. Alrighty, stay there and I'll think of a question. Okay, let's see. Oh dear. I asked it if you were still the same rain I knew and loved. Um, we need you, Alice. <laughs> well, so what I can tell you is shopping relates to needs and desires. So, Gabby, so what, what you're, what you're having dreams about here? So it's your grocery. So that in particular need for life. So what? Rain, what an unexpected pleasure. Maybe you could help me with something. No. Sure. Or... When you were here yesterday, you don't recall seeing a small green velvet pouch anywhere, do you? No. Well, keep your eyes peeled. The pouch contains Augustian gold coins, oh. believed to have been part of Mary August's original hoard. I'm oh, sorry you don't know the town's origin story, do you? Suffice to say, gold. if you see them, oh. please return to me. They're in the pouch for a reason. If anyone comes into contact with them, bad things happen. Ah, I have to be on air in a minute. Another time, maybe? Perhaps, Gabby, you ah. might have to challenge in your life. No, I'm sorry. What do you think, though? That's some wonderful yeah. advice, Alice, and I think it's a lot of food for oh. thought for this, um, for this um, listener, and I um, hope she takes. Sped through it too quick. So, he's not the same Rain as before. He was in an area with the gold coins, which were put in their mouths. And there was someone three months ago seen murdering a girl who looked like him. Oh, it is not looking good for Rain. Poker. I fall, but I never hit the water. Now, this in particular, I think, is very interesting. What can we do to help Ellis? Haven't we done enough? Not many people get to know when they're going to die, let alone get the chance to avoid it. We've given Ellis a huge advantage. So what should we do? Let's just say she's got a pretty good head start. Doesn't mean she's going to win. 
uh, and never falling and, uh, and and then never hitting hitting uh... what are you doing now i don't know i don't want to lie about my alibi again though what should i do log into tarotism Good idea. I'll stay in my room, log in, and wait for you to give me the all clear. Then they'll know I'm not a suspect. You're the best. Being out of control. Now, the tightrope ex itself, what is one of the main things you have to do on the tightrope? Not that you would know. Or maybe you do. Hmm. I've, I mean... Oh, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, there is, um, the stakes are high. You're... Hi, I'm Lexi. I thought I was mm. making progress finding the killer. I'm Lexi. No, I... It's all confusing again. It could be Violet. It could be Zach. It could be Rain. to avoid the negative people in your life. Do you think you're a suspect? Not that I know of. Chief Dupont asks me for favors, so I think I'd know. Did Zach kill Dorota? No. I saw Dorota look out of the window after he left. Hmm? So does Zach... Zach didn't kill. Wait a minute. I don't think Rian would know how to get to that house. So he's left out for Dorota at least. And if Zack left, it's you. You're the only one who would have been there. You're listening to Radio Arts. It's going to be soon. Whatever happens to Alice, it will be soon. How do you know it's going to be soon? I can sense it. Are you not picking anything up, Lex? There's a traveler nearby. No. Mescaline mainly. But I don't recommend you try it. Do you really want to hear this? Yes. <sighs> At uni, I read a book by Aldous Huxley called The Doors of Perception. He takes mescaline and basically trips his balls off. And the party girl I used to be thought, yay. My experience wasn't anything like his though. People look like tiny rainbow outlines. And I would notice that some of them would just appear from nowhere. Those ones, the ones from nowhere, I think they're the travelers. They kind of merge into one person and suddenly there's only one outline. That's what I see. But you, no drugs for you, young lady. Tea and nothing else, all right? Tea is the best drug. The head was a monstrous mouth of a, some deep sea horror. So, aliens, violet. What are we thinking, Lex? Violet and aliens? Because the Traveller is so powerful. It inhabits you, and you remember nothing. No. It goes on a killing spree, or worse, and you're held accountable. I pray for the victims, and for forgiveness, and for the unlucky person that becomes its vessel. Have you been a vessel? Lex, uh, I don't know what I was doing the night the rota died. I don't know. I, I don't remember. I was in my room. I, I was praying. But then I woke up and my hands hurt. 
my hands hurt. Now, don't you tell Bronwyn. She's got enough going on. And don't tell anyone. Violet and aliens? We don't know where the place is, right? Unless the traveler knows. Hasn't Bron told you? Violet said she was abducted by aliens. But not your usual stick me on a slab, call me grey type aliens. Aliens that decorate. Decorating aliens? Exactly. I think it was using Violet for room planning. Apparently it wants a set of heads on the wall. Red heads, to be more specific. If it's a traveller, why is it strangling people? Well, it's a right, obviously. But the alien Violet's talking about probably isn't the same traveller. Perhaps this is something new we haven't discovered yet. Yay. Using humans as decor. As age, Cheering. drugs, and street life took their toll on her market value. Until she ended up in the clutches of the entity in an empty penthouse lair. And the entity had devoured, and taken her form a kiss for with anybody. a fidelity. The disguise used not decomposing flesh, but decomposing reality. A twisted amalgam of fears and haunting memories. of nightmares fraying at the edges the bag lady without the capacity it's now 10 o'clock here's your august well i'm gonna leave this one here hope you had fun